Hi everybody and welcome back to the Little Miss Funeral YouTube channel. For today's video, I wanted to give you all my predictions about the future of funeral service after COVID-19. So obviously we are at the very beginnings of this pandemic and it has already drastically influenced how we are dealing with death within the United States. Um, within a very short time period, things have changed and one person who I am super fond of following on Facebook is a physician's assistant by the name of Tony Adkins, and he posted something on his Facebook that I wanted to insert here and just share with all of you, and hopefully you can just pause this video to read everything that he has to say because it really just struck a chord with me. So COVID-19, like I had said, it's it's really affecting us. And not only is it affecting funerals, but it's affecting how we die. So my very first prediction, um, because people are having very strict regulations within hospitals, family and friends cannot come and visit, that people are dying alone. Whether or not they have the COVID-19 virus or if they're just passing away from different circumstances, people still are not allowed into hospitals. People aren't allowed into nursing homes. Um, and because of those situations, because those are two institutions where people oftentimes are passing away, uh, these loved ones of ours are, are making that transition from this life to the next all by themselves. Not only are they making that transition all by themselves, but how those of us who are left behind are coping is not very well in in my opinion we are not being able to memorialize people and not being able to have the funerals that we think that they're deserving and i know within the funeral home where i'm currently working we're seeing a huge rise in just direct cremations not direct cremations with memorial service or a viewing and a cremation afterwards just because people don't want to have gatherings and put their family and friends at risk so right now they're choosing to do nothing they're either directly burying their loved ones and maybe having a small like 10 person graveside service maybe they can go to a church but the church is only allowing 10 to 15 people in their facilities as well so we really right now we've lost our sense of community when it comes to death we don't have people that we can uh, depend on and lean on during grief we don't have people bringing us food or asking um, what can I bring to you and give to you because we physically cannot go to our neighbors during these times we can't drop off things a lot of times I mean you can but in the grand scheme of things you're not being able to hug them you're not going to be able to um, give them that physical touch which is so important when you do lose somebody that you love so my other prediction um, I, I my predictions are that we're going to be dying differently once this is all over one day when the sun is shining and we're allowed to gather and hug our neighbors again i think that we're going to try to be more proactive in death and death doulas are going to become um more commonplace because people are going to want to be there with their loved ones when they die i don't think people now want people to die alone want their loved ones to die alone but i just think that we maybe didn't have we didn't realize the drastic impact that it really had on us. And um, my second prediction is with the service. I don't necessarily think we're gonna see like a rise in traditional funerals, but I think that once this is all said and done, we are going to see a rise in memorials and gatherings because right now we just realize how important those are since we cannot have those things. I think that the sense of loss within losing the community when somebody passes away, not being able to have those gatherings, they're just adding, uh, they're, they're making this into complicated grief. We're not on our normal grief journey, which is difficult enough, but it's adding complications on top of what we're already going through with our grief process. So I think that COVID-19, we're definitely learning a lot of lessons from you, but I think that when it comes to death and dying, um, the biggest lesson that we're learning right now is how important other people are in that journey and how important it is to honor and memorialize those that you love and to be able to lean on others during that difficult time. So another side note on this video, um, for anybody who was involved in me and Joelle, who's also known as the Grave Woman, our birthday giveaway, um, thank you so much for your patience. We're actively right now trying to get everybody's contact information, but it's taking us just a little bit longer. Um, and it's also going to be taking us a little bit longer um, to notify 
all of our amazing participants and send out all of the gifts. So thank you all so much for all of your love, all of your support, and all of your patience as the birthday giveaway just kind of landed in the very beginning of all of this. So um, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all next time.